The PM junction breakdown is understood as a rapid increase of the reverse current, when the reverse voltage reaches a certain critical value. PM junction breakdowns can be electrical or thermal. Electrical breakdowns are associated with an increase in the strength of the electric field in the filter layer of the PM junction. However, in some cases, a thermal breakdown may occur even prior to the electrical breakdown. The thermal PM junction breakdown occurs when the thermal operation mode becomes unstable. A section with a negative differential resistance on the current voltage curve of the junction when the reverse voltage is high is a clear indication of the thermal breakdown. The thermal breakdown often occurs in powerful germanium PM junctions as they have a right reverse current flowing through them. Since the reverse current value is great, even if the reverse voltage is low, lower than the electrical breakdown voltage, the system generates a lot of power, the value of which is calculated as the reverse voltage multiplied by the reverse current. This leads to an increase in the temperature of the junction and of the adjacent areas. In its turn, the increased temperature leads to an increase in the reverse current of the junctions and thus to that of the dissipated power. There is therefore a sort of thermoelectric inverse connection between the current value and the temperature of the PM junction, which leads to a rapid increase of current, that is to the breakdown of the PM junction. The thermal breakdown voltage depends upon the ambient temperature and the heat sink conditions. The thermal breakdown is a highly undesirable notion, as it causes the PM junction to fail. That is why, if you know that a thermal breakdown is possible, it is best to connect a current limited resistor in series with the PM junction.